Dear students, KSA 2024 first round seat allotment results have already been published. So now it's your time to make a decision based on different choices. So every student who has been allotted a seat will be given four choices, choice one, choice two, choice three and choice four out of which you need to make a decision, right? So in this video, we are going to discuss which is the right choice for you. We'll be talking about the implications of different choices and which case, uh, like which, what should be the condition for choosing a particular choice, okay? So if you are having any trouble in deciding what to choose, please watch this complete video so that at the end of this video, you will be have a clarity about what option to choose. So yes, now let's get started here. So before that, uh, first we'll have an understanding of all the four choices. So choice one, if you select choice one, that means you are going to join the college, you are happy with the, uh, what I'll say, with the college that is allotted to you. And in this case, you did not, you cannot participate in the further rounds of counselling and also you have to pay the college fees and join right now, okay. Total fee you have to pay. Now choice two is something where you are uh, satisfied with the allotted college but you want to go for improvement for better college you want to check. So you will be considered for next rounds of counselling and you need not pay any fees right now. Now coming to choice three, here you are not interested with the allotted college but you want to go for the next round of counselling. So yes, you will be able to participate in the next round and you also need not pay any fees right now. And the choice four, you have joined somewhere else or you are not interested in the case at counselling process. You want to exit this. So in that case, you need to select choice four and you cannot participate in the next round and you need not pay any fees here. Okay. So that are the different choices. Now let us understand each choice in detail. So the first one that is choice one. So first of all, for choosing choice one, the candidates must confirm that he or she is satisfied with the allotted seat in the first round. So if you are 100% satisfied with the college that is allotted to you. So this may happen for those candidates who have got the first option. Okay, whatever first preference they have given, if you have got that, that you are, your first choice has been allotted to you, then definitely you can go for choice one. Okay, now coming to the next here. So if you are uh, satisfied or you are uh, like not willing, uh, like whatever college has been allotted to you, course has been allotted to you, you are 100% satisfied with that, then only you please select choice one on the KEA web portal, okay. Now, uh, you should remember this that if you are selecting choice one and later you cannot come back to the option entry process, okay, in UGCT 24 or UG NEET 2024. So once you have selected choice one, you are out of the counseling process, you have to join the college, you cannot come back and you cannot participate in the next rounds of counseling. Please remember this one, okay. So that is why if you are 100% satisfied, then only go for this one and you will not be eligible to the to participate in the subsequent rounds, okay. That is very, very important implication here. So, who should select this one? First of all, those who students, those who uh, candidates who got option one, okay, the first preference, first preference they have got in there has been allotted to them and they are very happy, they can join. And second, who are not willing to participate in the next round, not willing to participate in the next round, okay and are satisfied with the allotted college, they can select choice one, clear? Okay, now coming to the next one, choice two. So here, candidates uh, who exercise choice two need not pay the fees for the allotted seat in the first round. So you need not select the, uh, you need not pay any fees here. Now what is implication here? Uh, they can participate in the second round of counselling by holding the seat. So here so many doubts have been come in the comment section I have seen you. So I will explain you what is this choice to in detail and who should select this one. Okay. So now if you see you when you are selecting suppose you have been given you have given 10 options in your choice entry. Okay. Okay. Now in your first allotment you have been allotted the sixth option. Okay, sixth option, sixth preference has been allotted to you. So in this case, what happens? You are happy that, okay, you got, suppose you have filled 10 options and you are happy on getting the sixth option, but you have a hope that I can get these better options also. Okay, if that is there in your mind, then you should go for second, like choice two. Now in choice two, if you select what happened, you can participate in the next round. 
okay in the second round if you are allotted any seat you will be allotted from these five options okay if you are getting that seat from 1 to 5 that is fine but if you are not getting any seat you will have still be having this sixth option with you but there is one question that well, ma'am whether we will be able to select between this one and the one which is allotted in the second round that is not there whatever is allotted to you the new one in the second round you have to take that now okay like you you have to you have to leave this college now like for example in second round okay you have been allotted the third college so now you cannot select between third and sixth which one i'll take that you cannot do sixth will go and you will have now third with that you can again decide whether you want to keep it or you want to upgrade it that all things you can decide but sixth one will be lost once the third college is allotted to you okay you cannot choose between three and six right now clear now who who should go for this one so there is a it is a it is the safest option i feel okay because you will be having a hold you will be holding a seat and also you will be upgrading if you get a better one fine if you do not get you still do not miss out on any opportunity right that is why i feel this is the safest option next okay now what happens here is if you are selecting choice 2 okay then when you will do editing for round uh, second round these options 7 8 9 10 will get removed okay only from 1 to 6 you can make that so sixth option is there so in this 1 to 5 only you can make changes suppose you have got sixth one but you wanted eighth one in the second round that will also not happen only the higher options will be considered and in the higher options only you can make editing you can make changes in your order or preferences order clear so what's the Two, three points you need to remember you cannot choose between the second round college and the first round college and select you whatever is allotted you need to take that if you are not getting like any college your sixth college will still be remaining with you and if you are option entry only these colleges will be there for making the changes you cannot these colleges will be removed from your option entry okay now coming to next one uh, choice number three here so choice three candidates will participate next round without holding any seat okay so here what happens again suppose one two three four five six seven eight nine and tenth option is there and you have been allotted the ninth option this time okay now what you are selecting if you are selecting choice three okay then in round two okay in round two if you get any seat from this that is fine okay if you do not get then you do not hold on this seat also this ninth seat is also lost and in round two you will be having zero self uh, zero seat left with you you do not have any option right now okay so i'll tell this option is little risky okay if you are highly unsatisfied from the college that is allotted to you if you're very much dissatisfied then only i'll tell please go for this option otherwise please try to avoid this okay because this is you do not have any backup in this right so that is why so and one more thing here now when you go to the second round okay when you are moving to the second round you will have the chance to edit your option so except this ninth option all these tenth options will be give this tenth option will also be there for you to make changes in the option entry but if you are selecting choice two okay then the one which is there below the allotted colleges will be deleted but in choice three except the one which is allotted all others will be there for you to make changes to make editing or to rearrange these options okay now uh, all the already entered options except the allotted option will be displayed on the option entry screen and you can make changes here so i'll tell here those who are highly dissatisfied okay then only go for this one otherwise please try to avoid this option okay because this doesn't have any backup plan if you do not get any seat in round two then you will be left with zero seats you will not have any college and course to join okay now coming to uh, so this one i explained next coming to yes so candidates can alter modify delete or reorder the already entered option so whatever options you have entered you can reorder them and so it is requested that give only those options where you are genuinely interested to go don't gi don't give those options where you are not interested to go okay don't put those options at all okay okay next uh, here also you need not pay any fees for the allotted seat you need not pay any fees okay next coming to choice four 
so if you have already taken admission in some other colleges like for example you have qualified je mains also and you have got some better colleges and you are go like you want to exit from this counseling process then only select choice four okay so like if you have uh, if you are not very confirmed with other seats and you are like conf uh, like you are uh, still in dilemma whether to uh, join there or here if you are like this then please do not select this choice four wait for the results and the best one whichever you are getting you can select at the end okay so this is only for those students who have who have already got a better college okay like you have joined some nits you have joined some bits okay triple its if you have joined such type of colleges and you are not willing to participate then you can choose this choice one okay so i'll repeat once again choice one be very careful if you are 100% sure or if you have got your first preference then go for choice one for choice two that is safe options if you like you can uh, upgrade you can hold and upgrade that is the safest option choice three if you are completely dissatisfied then only go for this but i personally will not recommend you to go for choice three because that does not have a backup option right now and the choice four if you have already taken in admission in some better colleges like nits triple its then you can skip and you can select choice four okay so i hope uh, so yes uh, here also you need not pay any fees and you do not have any hold in the uh, seat that is allotted to you so students i hope you have been clear with for the of uh, with four choices and you know what are the implications for this and i think this video will help will be helpful to make a decision re regarding uh, which option to choose so if you have any doubt please comment down i'll definitely address it and thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel for more updates all the very best for your case 2024 counseling process